Hey, hello there, and welcome back again. Now, as you can tell from the title of this video, it's no longer a LEO Level Earth Observer Adam video, because to be quite honest with you, I have now decided to take the decision to block him, because I cannot deal with the insufferable oaf any longer, because you just can't win with him, and I'm not increasing my blood pressure in dealing with the bugger anymore. I mean, I leave level, um, Where's Wally and uh, Wolfie to deal with him. Because the guy's just so unreasonable and insufferable. I s good grief. I mean, you show him plenty of videos of the conservation of motion and the laws of motion and acceleration and deceleration. But because it doesn't have a pendulum in it or tower crane um, in it, he decides that uh, the science is just ridiculous and ludicrous and is incorrect. Basically, what he wants us to do is to somehow make a life-size scale model of the planet and give it give it its own atmosphere and gravity and give it its own orbit and rotational speed but as we know that's impossible but like, like i've pointed out before is that he wants us to do that but he's never actually shown us this either on a spinning globe all he done all he's done is sit on his crane and tell us that this is what should happen but he's never actually shown us why or how but he wants us to do it but never mind um like i said if you've seen my comment sections with him on his channel just ugh, good grief he's such a stubborn ass right so moving on to this this was a photograph done i think back in 2016 there we go so 16th of july 2016 so it's well over four years ago now and it's a world record of 40, uh, 443 kilometres of Peak Gaspard, which is the longest distance photography thing. Now, I wanted to point out how small this thing looks, right, at being 3,867 metres tall. And there's Grand Ferrand, which is pretty much 51 kilometres closer, but is about 100 one hundred um, about one thousand one hundred and eleven kilometers higher right but look how the difference in it right so but i actually found this earth curve calculator thing the other day i i took me forever to find it right so this is uh peak gaspard at 392 oh no sorry wrong one Let's go to basis at 443,000 meters that's 443 kilometers uh, observer height is 2,820 um, that I've got from this bit of information the result is contained image of view from Peak de la Venestralis uh, which is 2,820 meters to the Alps which is you know what they are is what they are right and target size is 3,867 Right, which is um, which is the height of Picasso Bad. Now this is at standard refraction. Right, I can put refraction down to naught, so there is no refraction. But most of the time that's practically impossible. That doesn't happen. Right, so I'm going to put refraction up to standard. Right, let's let's be reasonable. Let's make it short. So let's put it there. Right. So that's peak gas bard at standard refraction. So not even medium to strong for a refraction. <laughs> Obviously, it'll never look like that. But you know what I mean. Whoop. So there we go. So let's go to standard refraction. Okay. Standard refraction. I would like to point out that guy's zoomed in. Right. So that's peak gas bard. You now we're going to look at Grand Ferrand, which is target two, which is 392,000 meters away. Double check the figures, yes, and is 2,758 meters tall. There we go, numbers match up. Right, so now I'm going to bring on the gas thing. So there we go, there is it visible. Now, for it being so much shorter than the uh, peak gas bard, does that match up roughly the observation to what we're seeing here? 
in terms of perspective from Grand Ferran to Pete Gaspard. To be quite honest with you, yes it does. And that's on like standard refraction. Like I said, and then you consider the fact that he's zoomed in, zoomed out, I mean, so if you zoom out, see, so basically if you zoom out you won't be able to see them, you zoom in, you get to see them perfectly. Now, if I, there is another picture here, which shows at late, after sunrise, so missing silhouettes a few minutes before sunrise, that's after sunrise. So basically, it's just basically more refraction. So basically, let's put refraction down to weak. So that's weak refraction. And obviously, there'll be no sunlight, you know, um, anywhere near. And look, they both get hidden. But then put refraction back up to standard. That's like weak standard, I might add. Then you can see them again. So there. It really is not proof of Flat Earth at all. Not even close. Now you can get Flat Earthers that will talk about perspective and they go, this has to be perspective. You know? It's like when you show um, a, a video of Earth Curve from a weather balloon. They just go, well, this has to be lens distortion. I've had a um, Flat Earther on Level Earth Observer channel, I think called like Nikon FX. Who claims he's a photographer, even though one of his, he's only got three videos, and only one of which is of him using his camera to zoom in into a bridge. So what an expert! And basically act like that all of it has to be lens distortion, even though there's he can't provide any evidence or proof to claim what camera was used, you know, uh, what lens was used, and how much refraction, how much distortion, if any, is actually visible in shot. But because he believes the Earth's flat, he believes that all of it is lens distortion. Same as this. They believe all of this is just the laws of perspective. Even though, quite clearly, it matches up to the Earth curve perfectly. So, there we are. That's just another quick video. I thought I'll do something uh, different. And I'm going to continue doing something different to try and get my subscriber base back up. Because at this rate, I think Adam is probably going to pass me at some point. Which, then again, he did have like 5,000 subscribers and those people are going to find him again. I'm losing a few subscribers, but I had pretty much about 100 subscribers I think, before I even did Flat Earth. Which is like I was back in school, so, you know, and so I think, you know, I think putting out LEO videos constantly, I think some people are getting bored of that, which is fair enough. So, move onwards and upwards, isn't it? Right, thank you very much. Hope you're all keeping safe and hope to see you again.